Hi everybody and welcome back to my uh, modeling channel. So today we're gonna start a Boeing 787-800 from Doyusha on the scale 144. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So initially, well, we have the kit has been hauled uh, into place. So we're gonna see what we have inside that box. So we have a couple of uh, plastic bags. So the first one, we have the fuselage of that 7.8 and uh, it's a uh, white plastic with uh, very very thin uh, panel lines okay and they are all in uh, they have been engraved so we have two parts and there might be a little bit of extra work on the tail of that uh, 7.8 and I'm sure we're gonna do the uh, APU doors uh, while building. Now uh, let's see the uh, the other bags. So the other bags has the wing of that 78 and those wings are uh, made of three parts. Well you have uh, the main part which is the uh, underside of the wing including the flat fairing and uh, I see that there is a little bit of uh, some little gaps that we're gonna have to work on and uh, also very thin uh, panel lines or uh, where we can see the, the spoilers and flaps but that's gonna give us uh, some, uh, some work to do and I think it's gonna get a better result that's gonna be very thin and detailed and uh, one of the last parts is the the engine and uh, the uh, horizontal uh, stabilizer. So as you can see, well, the engines have been very, very detailed uh, where we have the fan are composed of two parts. We can see the turbine and uh, the fan fairing. So I'll be able to do some uh, pretty nice details on that uh, aircraft. Uh, the undercarriage is not very very well detailed but with a little bit of uh, wiring we're gonna get a pretty decent re uh, result. That kit reminds me a lot of the Zvezda kit that I did before. Uh, I can see that the gear and the wheels where the brakes units are separated including the wheels they are very very similar but uh, as I did it quite a while ago I can't tell you if it's the same uh, mod. So let's continue. We also have some uh, clear part and the clear part is for the main uh, so we have the windows and we have the cockpit window as well. So that's it for the kit itself. Uh, I also have a stand for people who are interested and that's exactly the same as the so I think this most probably is uh, a tooling from uh, from Svesta. But we'll keep going. Okay, so that's some other uh, instruction sheet now. Instruction sheet seems to be pretty well detailed. And it comes with a decal sheet of ANA, uh, Japanese uh, airline. So everything is very well detailed with lots of uh, instructions. Everything is uh, in both language, Japanese and English. And now let me try to find out the old decals I had. So I found our uh, old decals. So we have quite a lot of details. Of course you have the ANA livery, but you have also a lot of uh, little details of, uh, the, on the engines or some logos, the panel lines on the corregar as well. So uh, that will be uh, quite helpful. So this is the end for the kit. And uh, I will use for that kit 260 cal and I will make the uh, livery of Aero Mexico. So we can see that uh, those decals come in, uh, in a plastic bag. So all the instruction sheets are here 
as you can see you have uh, more than enough I would say to, uh, to do your decals so here is the livery of Aero Mexico and that comes as well with all the doors, uh, cargo doors as well and uh, the engine uh, spinner as well and a lot of the windows and engine logo. Uh, I will add as well for this some uh, other aftermarket decal that I purchased. Uh, those are coming from uh, Revaro, Russian brand and uh, well those are all the basically panel lines because they are a little bit thinner and I think I could get a better result on those than uh, what I could get uh, on the uh, actual one. So enough of talking and let's start building. So we're gonna start this build by putting uh, all the windows uh, together. So I will use uh, regular glue as well and uh, then I will uh, put uh, all those uh, transparent uh, windows one by one in uh, the uh, aircraft fuselage. Then uh, what we will do is uh, I will glue the main uh, and the nose landing gear and I will add some weight to the front of the aircraft. I will use some modeling paste from some previous model but uh, what I will do is I will uh, use some adhesive tape as well to put that. Once uh, this is fixed I will close the fuselage with a regular uh, needle glue and uh, then we're gonna be able to uh, let it dry for a little while. So while it is drying, I will start to work on the, the engine fan. They are uh, in uh, two parts and then I will have to uh, glue them together. Then of course I will prepare uh, the horizontal stabilizer, uh, which uh, have to be also in uh, two parts. When this is done, I will add the putty uh, on the fuselage as well, on the basically on the junction and also on the, the windows because normally what I do is I will, put, I will use decals uh, on that. After that I was uh, doing some marking with the panel lines as I will have to rescribe them a little bit later on. So once the putty is dry I will uh, start to uh, sand the paper and I will use some sandpaper and some water to uh, sand them and polish all the edges basically on the, that 787. So it's now time uh, to add the cockpit window and uh, for this I will use uh, some regular glue and of course as I'm going to use later on some decals I will uh, have to put uh, some putty around it. That also gives me the opportunity to uh, re-putty basically some uh, other windows who are not really uh, perfect and of course I'll have to uh, let it dry and sand it down again. As you can see uh, some of the parts on the, on the edge and the fuselage had to be redone and I had to, ex had to uh, add some extra putty. So after this uh, all sanding down I'm gonna use also some, uh, some uh, sponge uh, to get a better finish on that uh, putty.
So we are now going to spend a little bit more time uh, on some uh, detailing. So on this part, we are going to do uh, the uh, APU uh, intake of that uh, Dreamliner. So uh, initially I put some marking on the fuselage as you can see and then I will drill some holes basically to, uh, to do the uh, APU opening. After that of course you'll have to do some adjustment. So for that I use a scalpel knife and then a file to get the proper opening at uh, the correct uh, dimension. So uh, after a little bit of, uh, of work we're going to use also some uh, plastic card as you can see and uh, I will have to double that plastic card to make sure basically that I have the, the correct shape for that APU intake and then I'll also have to do the, the opening of uh, that APU intake. So after that we're gonna let this dry and uh, this will be added later on on our uh, APU hole. After this it was time uh, to uh, paint the fan of the, uh, the engine fans. So for that I use a matte black color and uh, shortly after that I will have to do the leading edge in, the, in a metal polish uh, color. So we are now going to spend some more time on the, the engines. So for that I will uh, start painting the turbine with a metallic color. So uh, I will do uh, all the exhaust and of course I will have to uh, let it dry uh, slowly. After that what I will do is I will use some uh, burnt rust color on the, the uh, after part of the uh, engine turbine and then I will use the blue uh, basically some uh, blue color uh, blue burn color for the uh, other part of the of the uh, engine turbine so uh, after that uh, we are going to yeah do the blue part now for both both engines and uh, then we are going to have to work uh, on the of course on the fan and the intake of that uh, engine. So for these basically I had to uh, do an extra paint in black and then I will put basically uh, some adhesive tape and a ring as we have uh, a ring of black color just at the base of the fan and uh, after that I will have to be able to paint the rest in uh, basically in a light gray color or sandish light gray color. So we're now going to put uh, our fan and our turbine together and we're going to assemble that on the, the two half part of the fuselage. So uh, while this uh, engine will be drying, we are going to uh, put some more putty uh, on our wing roots, of course, and uh, on the bottom of the fuselage. So uh, after that, of course, we're going to be able to uh, continue uh, our model. So once this is finished, we're going to put the half part of uh, the engine and of course uh, the leading edge of that uh, engine will be uh, painted earlier. I will also take the time while the putty is drying to uh, prepare all the edges for uh, the uh, horizontal stabilizer. So now that our putty has dried, it's time for uh, the long and painful part of uh, sanding down all that uh, 
extra putty to get uh, the perfect panel line. So I'll do that also uh, on the engine uh, before I'll be ready to get to the paint booth. So uh, we are now getting ready to the paint booth and I will put an initial coat on our leading edge and for this I will use a standard uh, silver metallic paint from uh, Tamiya. I will put this on the leading edge of course and also on the uh, APU uh, exhaust. So on this model I add uh, one step that I haven't done before so I put basically all the uh, antenna and the uh, rotating beacon and also uh, some uh, more uh, satellite antenna before the final part uh, of the paint on the, on the models. So now I'm adding also some uh, lights toward the end of our, uh, of our APU, close to the APU and I will also put the uh, APU uh, door now that I will fit. So you saw the part I prepared earlier, so now it's time to adjust it within the, the, the door and uh, of course I'll do a little bit of fitting and adjustments and then I will uh, finally put uh, a white coat of uh, clear white basically it's the uh, X4 from uh, Tamiya and uh, this one is, uh, is going to be done in two parts so initially I will paint the wings and uh, once the wings will be dry I will use them to rest the model and then I will be able to paint uh, the fuselage itself As our uh, fuselage is now drying, we're gonna start working on the undercarriage of that aircraft. So initially I will have to paint, of course, uh, those tires. And for that, I will use uh, Tamiya uh, matte black paint. And uh, after that, we're gonna be able to do uh, some more works on the gear itself. So for that, I will use also uh, some uh, clear coat of, uh, and I will do the strut, basically with a shiny metallic uh, paint from Humbro. And uh, once this is dry, I will have to do some also uh, more adjustment to get a more realistic uh, undercarriage. So for the nose gear, basically, I will use uh, a driller and I will drill some holes uh, that are replicate on the scissor. And uh, after that, also, I will add some more panel with some plastic cards. And I will do a little bit more painting and detailing. And I will use also some uh, lead wire to be able to replicate all the hydraulic line on the other carriage.
Now that the weathering is done on the undercarriage, we're going to be able to fix it uh, on the model itself. So uh, we're going to uh, put the nose gear initially and then we're going to put the main strut. And uh, after that, the plane will be able to rest normally on its undercarriage. After that, it will be time to uh, do the final uh, decaling of the aircraft. And for this, I just use plain water, still water for uh, those uh, two six decal that I've been using for the uh, Aeromexico uh, livery. Of course, there has been a slight uh, issue on the joint between the fuselage and the, and the tail. And for that, I use a standard blue and the feet end up perfectly well. After that, of course, uh, we use, uh, I didn't need to use any solution at all as the, dec the decal were on a very soft and very good quality. So this is the final result of that uh, 787 uh, Aeromexico Dreamliner on scale 144 from Doyusha. I was quite happy about uh, the result. Uh, it was very easy to work with. Actually, it's based on the Zvezda kit and uh, actually I cannot see any difference between those two kits except the color and the quality of the plastic which is a little bit different. Beside that, a very enjoyable model. I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you soon in another video. Thank you for watching.